All right, so we just talked about the pyramidal pathway, which is also the cortical spinal. So this starts in the motor cortex and allows us to move, decide to move and carry out a movement. The extra pyramidal pathways are outside of that pathway. So outside of the pyramids that travel through the medulla. Um, and these pathways are involved in more subconscious or unconscious fine tuning of movements and motor coordination that's really important for us to function even though we're not really aware of it. So let's first review some anatomy. Um, so just some reference um, structures here, right? Thalamus, um, midbrain, medulla, and cerebellum. And then I'm gonna give you more specifics, of course. So first let's actually one more to review up here, just in front of the um, central gyrus is the motor cortex. And then we've got these blue things here. We've talked about these as well. These are cere cerebellar nuclei. They are also called the basal nuclei or basal ganglia, part of the cerebrum itself. Um, this is going to be important for our extrapyramidal pathways, controlling regions of the brain brainstem. Then we've got two pathways, two sets of pathways, actually. We've got a lateral pathway. It's called that because it's going to travel through the lateral columns, lateral spinal cord, versus our medial pathway. Medial pathways, the three of them, are going to travel um, more medial. The lateral pathway is uh, begins in the red nucleus of the midbrain. We talked about the red nucleus before. Um, this is going to be one key location, um, travels to the, sends information to the cervical spinal cord, um, in humans at least, it's actually more places in other animals, and it's gonna be important for adjustment of movements. It's red because it has all the blood vessels. I will go ahead and label this here as well. This is gonna be called the rubrospinal. So rubro means red. Um, this pathway will be called, that, that initiates in the red nucleus will be called the rubrospinal pathway. Then we've got three medial pathways. One begins in the, actually the one I have marked here, um, the superior, I'm not gonna be filled it up, at all and inferior colliculi. That's this right here. Remember these guys? We've got the reticular formation. These are the nuclei where this pathways begin. Reticular formation and the vestibular nucleus. is that one in red. So these are going to be the locations of the upper motor neuron. They are going to have neurons in them that travel down and then synapse in the ventral horn, or anterior horn of the spinal cord somewhere to adjust movement. These pathways are getting information from the muscles, so proprioceptors, muscle spindles, Golgi tendon organs, as well as for the vestibular nucleus, the vestibular apparatus of the inner ear that helps us know our body position. So all proprioceptors and um, where our body is in space to help us adjust motor patterns. So just like your spinal thalamic, I'm sorry, um, corticospinal, you have an upper motor neuron and a lower. Um, so we'll draw that out in a moment. I'm going to show you first where these tracks travel through the spinal cord 
And then I'm gonna walk through one in detail is, is more example. Um, so in this image here, we've got blue is ascending and red is descending. You know about the spinal cord already to have that make some sense. And we are just looking at descending right now because we're looking at motor pathways. That's what motor pathways are. Um, and then we've got, we're gonna map what we just saw here onto our spinal cord in terms of where those travel down. So first let's do a sort of red nucleus red. Um, I already have red anyway. So like here's a cell body and the axon is gonna travel down and it's going to travel. Let's actually just do like this. This right here is our rubrospinal tract travels in this column here. The I'll color code other ones too. Um, colliculi. So that's right here. Actually, I should do that green because that's what it is up there. Let's do green for the colliculi. Is going to travel through the tectospinal tract. Colliculi, tecto, probably makes sense to someone. <laughs> then I've got what color is that brown for the reticular formation? Right here, kind of covered it up by accident with my um, axon. The reticulo, reticular formation is going to project information down into the and through the reticular, reticulo spinal tract and tracts. There's, there's two here. Notice these are all medial. And the, the rubrospinal is lateral, lateral pathway, medial pathway. Last one I'm going to make, what is that, orangish? is our vestibular nucleus is where this um, these cell upper motor neurons are located. And then the columns are going to travel through, are going to be the vestibulospinal tract. Vestibulospinal, that word makes sense, right? We're starting the vestibular nucleus, going to the spinal cord. So again, let's do, Blue was my lateral, no, it was red. Red is my red nucleus. So lateral pathway is the red nucleus. That's this. And my medial pathway is, medial pathways are more medial. Those guys right there. What do you think the last red guy is there that I haven't labeled in this image? Well, that is our cortical spinal tract, our, our lateral, that's where we are corticospinal tract. Upper motor neuron is in the motor cortex. Um, this is the other corticospinal here actually. So anterior. Okay, so let's see one of these in even a little more context. The same idea would apply to all three four, sorry, of these pathways. Um, I'm gonna walk through for the rubrospinal pathway. You know this pathway starts in the red nucleus, which is in the midbrain, so that's where this slice is here. This appears the cerebrum. We're not starting there. Our upper motor neuron is right here. So this right here, the axon of our upper motor neuron. This axon is going to travel in a bundle with a whole bunch of other axons, not a nerve, but similar idea. It's a, a column or a tract um, through, through the pons, through the medulla, not synapsing, um, next to the cerebellum, like this, and then synapse in a region of the spinal cord. 
where? Well, it depends on which region of the body we want to um, be able to, to regulate. There is a synapse here, just an interneuron, and then this is our lower motor neuron that controls the muscle itself. Neuromuscular junction would be here. This is lateral pathway. Where are the synapses here? So upper motor neuron, one neuron. So we're starting here, we're synapsing here, and then we're synapsing on the muscle. Two neurons. So the other pathways would be identical, but start in a, a different nucleus and travel down a different tract, um, according to this chart here. Um, and they're all going to be involved in the same idea in, in reality, different components, right? Again, the one that's most obvious is the vestibular nucleus receives information um, from the vestibular nucleus of the ear instead of the muscle spindles and tendon organs. All right, learning check to review what you just did.